Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about the state of Company of Heroes 3. I'm gonna be giving my perspective and thoughts on the game and what I see moving forward. Relic recently released his video, as you see on screen, called Community Insights, the PC launch. We're gonna go through that video real quick. It's only a few minutes long, and I'm gonna kind of give my thoughts on it. Uh, I don't have any fun visuals for this video, uh, no cool editing or anything like that. I just kind of want to talk and, and get my thoughts out there and, and kind of get this discussion going uh, with the community, especially this Arch community. Um, everyone who's been part of this community, I just want to say thank you to you guys. You guys have been awesome and extremely supportive. Uh, this channel really is only four or five months old uh, at max, and um, you guys have been absolutely amazing. So I just want to thank you guys for the support, and I hope that I can continue to put out amazing content for you guys. I'm not going anywhere. I love this game. This game, to be honest, I'm like one of the few people who's actually super optimistic. Um, and I know I know, like Hans released a video called, entitled, We Deserve Better. And Hans is optimistic. Hans loves this game. I mean, you just see it in him. I, I, I've been watching him for years now, and I see how passionate and how much he's enjoying the game as he's also extremely frustrated with some of the issues. And he brings up some fantastic points, super valid points, and he's justified in all of them. Um, and and really, although he's bringing harsh criticism, it's constructive criticism in the end. He's trying to help Relic really dial in um, the important factors and the important things that need to be addressed. And so is AE Co, for example. He's been pretty vocal uh, about a lot of issues in the game that need to be addressed, even in his cast of the tournaments. Uh, he's not shying away from those things. And so I just, I want to say a couple things from my perspective. Now I haven't been in, in the company of heroes community as long as people like AE Co, as people like helping Hans tightrope, all these, uh, players and, and content creators who've been around for a very long time. And, um, although I've been playing company of heroes, the franchise since the original game off and on, I spent most of my time. And, and as some of you guys might know. I've mentioned this before. I spent most of my time in the StarCraft community playing StarCraft 1 extensively and also StarCraft 2. I spent years and years and years since I was 10, 12 years old playing that game. And uh, it wasn't until later that I really fell in love with Company of Heroes. And, you know, what? what is really sad for me personally, being a huge StarCraft fan of the past, um, is that when... StarCraft 1 was extremely successful, extremely, extremely successful, especially in Korea. It kind of birthed esports and, and pathed the way for uh, games like League of Legends and MLG tournaments and, and Halo and Call of Duty. StarCraft was that foundation, that pioneer, that revolutionary game that kind of started it all. Um, and Counter-Strike is an old game as well that's, that's a fantastic pillar in the esport community. Uh, Blizzard came along and said, okay, we're going to do StarCraft 2 now. And they made a huge mistake of dividing the community completely with StarCraft 2 because StarCraft 2, the way they designed the game, it was a completely different game than StarCraft 1. Of course, the factions were the same, Protoss, Terran, and Zerg. All those things were the same on at face value, right? It was still in space. It was still the same theme. All those things were... were were still intact, but the core gameplay, the factions, the way they were designed, the mechanics, the way the game played, it was a completely new game, and it was just not what a lot of the hardcore StarCraft players wanted. It's not the game that they grew up playing and loved. You know, it's not the game they love to watch, and a lot of the top StarCraft 1, the Brood War fans and players, never merged into StarCraft 2. And it was a huge hit to not only Blizzard, but the StarCraft community because there was this schism. There was this divide in the community. And that divide is still strong to this day. Um, it, I don't. You guys probably don't know this, but StarCraft 2 has lost almost all of its funding by Blizzard. And StarCraft 1 is the only game that's really... Well, it, it is the only StarCraft game that's succeeding at this point. StarCraft 2 is doing okay. But I bringing why am I bringing this up? I'm bringing this up to say that when I look at Company of Heroes 3 and I look at Relic and I and I look at not only their track history, but their development history and this past year of following them through all of their dev diaries and everything that they've been doing and 
as someone who's on the outside, I, I, I haven't been part of this internal discussion for the past three years of Company Furious 3 development, you know? But I've been watching closely. And what I see with Company of Heroes 3 is a company and development team who looked at their past two games and said, almost like they understood the same mistake Blizzard made with StarCraft and said, we don't want to go back and make the same mistake. We don't want to divide the Company of Heroes 1 and the Company of Heroes 2 community even more. We don't want to do that. We want to make a game, Company of Heroes 3, that's going to bring those two communities together, the entire Company of Heroes community. We want... We want this game to be the culmination and the epitome of the franchise that that kind of brings that bridges the gap and brings it all together right and the reason why i'm bringing this up is starcraft 1 and starcraft 2 were completely divided communities and company of heroes 1 and company of heroes 2 in some manner were also very divided communities you had a hardcore group that loved co1 was nostalgic about co1 that reminisced about co1 that saw company of heroes 1 as a superior game and I actually agree. I actually think Company Heroes 1 is a superior game. Just like I believe StarCraft 1 is a superior game to StarCraft 2 for many reasons we won't get into. But unlike Blizzard, Relic, the way I see Relic's development, they looked at Co3 as a way to merge these two games. And in my opinion, Company of Heroes 3 feels a lot like Co1. You see it in their design choice. You see it even in their graphic choice the visual choice and the way the game feels and looks it's very reminiscent to co one and to me i th i find that extremely not only valuable but extremely encouraging because i see a company who is who who realizes that they might be a small team i'm assuming they're a pretty small team not only that they realize that they don't have as the resources they need to make this the perfect game at launch they delayed the game several months, and I think they knew they even needed more months, but they were, they had a quota. They had a deadline. I think they had to get this game out, and that's just my assumption. And in game development, there's compromises you have to make. You can't get it all done on day one. You're going to have to sacrifice some things in order to prioritize other things. And we can, we can argue all day long whether or not Relic prioritized the right or wrong things. I think they prioritized... The wrong things in a lot of ways and we can make those arguments back and forth um some people have speculated that they're a junior they have they have they don't have the same core dev team that they had before that they have new a new dev team that might not be as privy or uh knowledgeable about some of the company of heroes past tools and and design and so forth um but in my opinion i see a company who prioritized the foundation of the game the gameplay design, the faction design, the core gameplay, really, really well. They didn't get the polish down. Um, there's a lot of graphical bugs. There's a lot of visual issues um, with lighting and, and contrasting and so forth. There's tons of AI issues. You know, I, the game is not where it needs to be. You know, it's we we know that. But what I'm trying to say, and without, I'm not trying to blow smoke up your ass. I'm not trying to BS you guys. I'm not trying to kiss Relic's ass here at all. I'm really not. I, what I see is a game that has tremendously strong fun foundations and fundamentals and has the potential to be great. It's not there yet, but I see a company who is listening actively to the community, who knows a lot of the issues are in place and who most likely just didn't have the resources and time to make those changes and implement those changes. And I think a lot of this has to do with Relic's recent past of not only failed games like Warhammer, but their time and development with Age of Empires. This is a new engine. And I, again, I'm not a coder. Uh, I, I'm not a, pro a gamer, a programmer. I, I don't, I'm not a game designer. So I'm just speaking on the outside and, and thinking to myself, they know what they're doing. They're developers. They, they've been, they're, it's Relic. You know what I mean? They have a, a level of expertise that many of us just don't have. And my assumption is that they just could not get those things out in time. Now, here's the thing that I think is really, really promising about Relic is I think they understand, unlike Warhammer, that this is it. Company of Heroes is really their flagship game. This is the highest rated strategy game of all time. They haven't been shy to let everyone know that in their marketing campaigns, right? This is... 
this is one of the greatest strategy games of all time. And guys, I just want to say this as well. Before we, we were supposed to jump into this community insight video like 30 minutes ago, but I've been on this rant uh, and I, I guess I'm not going to stop anytime soon. But what I will say is this uh, to the community. If for me, you know, being a content creator, I would love to see more in the game. I would love to see more maps and we'll talk about that. I would love to see, I mean, I, I dropped an airborne unit the other day and it never even appeared on my screen. Like it, it just didn't exist. I spent the resources and the paratrooper never dropped. It, it was like I never, it was like I spent 340 manpower on nothing. And that's frustrating because I'm like, well, there goes, there goes the game, you know, or there goes all my resources. And, uh, but at the same time, I'm like, this is part of the process. This is, this is the growing pains of a brand new game, um, from a team that's relatively small, uh, that had to launch the game out. And what we need to do is, in my opinion, and I'm speaking for myself, but also for the Sarge squad, I want to say this to everybody. Uh, we need to come around and support Relic as much as we can, because I'll say this as a passionate person, not only in the Company of Heroes community, but the RTS community. I love this genre. Um, and anyone who knows me knows this, that like I refuse to play any other games. I won't play FPS games. I will not play MOBA games. I won't play RPG games. You might see me playing Nintendo here and there, like some Super Mario but that's about it. Like I, I just play RTS games and no, nothing else. People call PC players the master race, and that's that. To me, that's an insult. The RTS community is the master race. We, we are the last bastion of hope for gaming. I'm, I'm just gonna go out and say I'm gonna go on a whim and say that. Like I, if it, if it, if we had to leave the world up to the FPS gamers and the MOBA gamers, it. I mean, you see what's happening right now in the in, in gaming, like the whole gaming development, uh, gaming creativity. It's all just horrendous. It's terrible, and it's extremely sad to see because there's no creativity or nothing in, in gaming anymore. It's just the same old copycat of a copycat of a game. And for me, I mean, it's been like ten years since I've really been this hyped for an RTS game. It's been since Co Two. Honestly, like I, I can't think of another RTS game that has come out in the past. I was kind of excited for Age of Empires, but I've never been a big Age of Empires fan. You guys might see a few Age of Empires videos on my channel in the past, just for fun. But um, Company of Heroes really is my favorite franchise of all time. And that and StarCraft and, and you know a couple other games. And for me, we need this genre. The genre was super popular in the 90s. There's not many gaming companies developing these games anymore at all. And it's for me, it's really sad to see. And when I when I see Relic putting their best and trying to put their best foot forward and making mistakes, I think we need to come along as a community and be strong and support them as much as we can. Uh, I, I actually want Relic to just put their store up so I can actually buy stuff. Like help help me help you. You know, why isn't the store up? I get I get that. Their intentions are good. Like it's kind of, in some way, it's good that they don't have the store up because it's not a cash grab. We know that. But also too, it's like relic. Why? Why don't you have your store up? This is a, a gaming company needs to be profitable. Like let me help you by buying some skins. Um, and I want to help support the game. I want to do everything I can to support the game. And I know many of you guys do too. You guys are super passionate about this game, and I've seen it not only in my channel, um, but in your guys's comments. Like you guys, you guys have. Uh, been amazing support not only for me but also um just pushing the franchise you know i could see the passion behind your comments and and your guys's interest in growing as players i know a lot of you guys are veteran players and a lot of you guys are new players um but i love this community i've always loved uh, rts communities and uh, i've made a lot of my friends through rts gaming and um i i want to just end this rant by saying that I love the game. I think the game has an immense potential and what gives me hope and why I'm not depressed or down or anything like that is because I actually believe Relic is going to fulfill their promise and their roadmap and actually deliver on this. I think it's going to take them some time. Um, I think they have a lot to prove because their track history hasn't been too great as of late and the game should have been launched in a better state for sure. But I just can't imagine them fumbling 
the ball completely and destroying the Company of Heroes franchise. This franchise is too strong. Um, it's too highly rated. It's too close to the chest for Relic. You know, they they this is it for them. They, this is their game, and um, I really believe that they're going to deliver. And I just want to I just want to encourage everybody to be to to be hopeful that games some game sometimes it takes time. Starcraft two and Starcraft one and games that I've spent years playing and you guys know Company of Heroes two took forever to really get to a polished state, and so did Co one. Co one at launch I couldn't even run it. I didn't have the, the the specs to run it and uh, I had a lot of issues. I remember being pretty young and trying to play the game. And uh, I just want to say guys uh, that we have a lot to, a lot of responsibility as a community to help push this game. And um, I really do think the sky's the limit. There aren't very many RTS games being developed now. This game has a lot of potential still uh, with future expansions, with future updates and polish. Um, you know, look at Rainbow Six Siege. Look at all these other games that that didn't deliver at launch and then became huge success stories. I know it would have been nice that that first impressions. Uh, Helping Hans talks a lot about first impressions. That would have been amazing. I would have loved, absolutely loved to see this game just take off. Trust me, uh, th that would have been that was my hope really that this game would be polished to that state. But nevertheless, the potential is absolutely there. This is a better game than Co1 and Co2 were at at launch and at their foundations, fundamentals. I really believe that. Uh, I'm not just saying that. I think this game has, from a faction design and core gameplay design, a lot, a lot of potential. But I'm not going to beat a dead horse and keep reiterating that point. Um, but I just, yeah, I I just want to kind of share my thoughts overall. That that um, you know, there's Company Heroes three. There's the Warhammer series that's kind of that that bigger picture, more macro 4X uh, type of strategy game. And then you have games like StarCraft and Age of Empires, which are doing great in their own respective rights, right? They have strong communities. Um, and that's pretty much it. You have another game called Stormgate coming out, another RTS game. Uh, but there's nothing else really being developed. And um, I really want to see Coming of Heroes thrive because this is it. This is the floor. This is the bottom. It's not going to get worse than this, in my opinion. It, it's only going to get better from here. Um, and I think that I think that Relic has a, a, a long roadmap for the game, longer than just a few years shelf life. I think they're trying to, you know, they built a new engine. They're setting a really strong foundation. They're going back to first principles with the game as much as they can from a design standpoint. And I think they're trying to play the long game as much as they can. They're, they might have known that they're going to take a hit early. I'm not sure. You know, I'm not part of the internal team. But they're, I think that they're setting themselves up for success if they play this right. And uh, the game the game can branch out in several different directions with expansions and um, iterations and additions. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. It's, it's very hard to say. But anyways, guys, let's jump into this video. Uh, apologies for that long rant. I don't even know how long this video is going now, but let's check it out. Hey everyone, it's John from the Company of Heroes team. Company of Heroes 3 has been out for a little over three weeks, and for all of us at Relic, it's been incredibly rewarding to see so many fans playing and discussing the game. The response so far has been terrific, with plenty of praise, criticism, feature requests, bug reports, and feedback, which is exactly what we need right now. Keep those reviews, reports, and feedback coming. That's what drives and informs the future of this game that we love so much. With Co3 now out, our team is shifting focus to ensure that long-term support for the future. That includes new content, fixes, and more right around the corner. In this video, we want to cover everything that's happened in the last few weeks, what top feedback we're seeing from our players, and most importantly, what comes next. Since launch, your feedback and reports allowed our team to respond to some notable issues very quickly. That's why we were able to drop seven hotfixes at a steady pace, and with these hotfixes, our goal was to focus on the top issues that prevented playing or even progressing in the game. So that includes GPU and rendering crashes, campaign and mission blockers, and a few pesky bugs. We were also happy that we could sneak in some long planned balance changes and quality of life improvements. We addressed some of the power imbalance of the factions, got rid of some gameplay exploits, and made the enemy more aggressive on the dynamic campaign map. 
We also broke the British anti-tank rifle, but then we fixed it. Our hotfix cadence is going to slow down for now, but we'll be sure to jump on any major issues if they come up. Okay, I just want to say this real quick. I'm happy they're slowing down uh, because I've noticed they, they've been rolling out a lot of patches and updates, but the game has become more unstable in my opinion. It There's more issues popping up uh, that I wasn't aware of or wasn't experiencing very early on. So I'm, I think they need to slow down, really dial it in, make sure that the updates and polish and fixes don't come with more bugs or inconsistencies. And then um, I think they'll be on, on a better trajectory, better path forward. So yeah, I think that, that's a smart choice by them. Also happy to say that our first major patch, 1.1, is only a few weeks away. This will include a considerable number of fixes and improvements for Company of Heroes 3. Stay tuned as we'll have more news about that soon. The development team has been pouring over all the feedback that players have been providing us so far, and we're already working on addressing as much of it as we can, as soon as we can. Right now, that means prioritizing critical issues and bugs, quality of life features, gameplay balance, and so much more. Some of these things will be easier to address than others, but rest assured that everything players are talking about is being discussed internally by the team, and much of it is either on our radar or already being worked on. So. What are some of those top concerns? Well, in no particular order, we want to address any remaining crashes. We want to fix campaign progression bugs, continue polishing and fixing gameplay and visual bugs, tune the AI difficulty. We want to investigate things like camera zoom levels, UI and menu improvements, in-game pings, unique player color options. We want to do further faction balance passes, and of course, can ongoing improvements for our audio and visuals. In addition to all that, the team also wants to continue improving co 3s modding tools. We were really happy to get our mod tools up and running and in your hands just in time for launch. We know there are still improvements we can make to the current iteration of the mod tools in World Builder, so we're asking modders to continue testing the tools and providing feedback and feature requests so that we can prioritize those improvements for the future. Be sure to leave us those requests on the modding section of the forums. And if you haven't yet, you should check out the Modding Knowledge Center as that's going to give you some handy guides to get you started using the tools. So that's what's happening now, but what comes next? The team is really excited to share a look at our current development priorities. I can hear you asking, John, is this a roadmap? And the answer is, well, sort of. Putting dates on features can sometimes feel unfair to players and to the development team, especially if those things need to move for whatever reason. Instead, we feel it's a bit more honest to share what the team is currently focused on along with what's coming next in development. As you can see, we have a lot of work planned for the days and months ahead. Our team is looking forward to supporting Company of Heroes 3 for years to come. We have plans for really cool content, new features, quality of life improvements, and some fun shakeups of the meta. We can't thank you enough for joining us at the beginning of this journey together. We have so many awesome things planned for Co3, and this is just the start. I believe a man. I believe that they're going to deliver. Let's look at this uh, road, quote unquote roadmap real quickly here. I, I wish they would give us a time because this scares me a little bit. Although, although the content here is fantastic. The fact that they're noticing camera zoom distant changes, right? For, for a company to say, we're going to change the camera zoom levels is a, is a pretty big change, you know? That's something you don't really see often in RTS games, especially bigger companies. You know, they're not going to really do that. And that's that's amazing to me, especially if they give you options. That would be unbelievable. Um, so I'm excited about that. I'm really excited about color for team changes and pings. I think the pings are really, really bad there. You can't even realize like where the pings are are actually happening, you know, Uh it's a surprisingly bad one, and so are the color for teams. It's been a big, big request from a lot of players. So uh, I don't know how long this is going to take because these are pretty fundamental things, or you know, they're they're pretty important aspects to the game. So I would love to see this soon. Of course, one point one patch is probably going to be the most uh, upcoming uh, update. It's on target. This is in development. I don't know how long it's going to take for this, but I would love to see this in the next month or two. I know that's probably like way out of the realm of possibility for Relic. Uh, what kind of depresses me a little bit, to be honest, is this like 
new 3v3 map and new 4v4 map. Uh, we're already really low on maps for team games. Um, that's been like a really hard thing for me because I love team games and that's the content I really want to put out. Um, I would love to see more 3v3 and 4v4 maps and 2v2 maps, uh, all maps. We need more maps in this game. And uh, the, the lack of maps is really tough. Only two 4v4 maps and three 3v3 maps is extremely low for for the launch of an RTS game at this scale, in my opinion. So I hope that these are relatively soon. I don't know if the mod team can develop great maps and kind of get those into the map pool. I don't know if Relic is actually going to allow that. I, I assume not th at this early stage in development or this early stage of the game's life cycle. So for me, a big priority would be maps. I think we need more maps. Of course, we need hot fixes and balance and stability patches, as they phrase here, and these quality of life improvements. But um, yeah, I, I would really love to see that. It looks like challenges, merit, and cosmetics. So it looks like the store is on target to be launched pretty soon. Um, it's really interesting. So that's cool. That, that's, I actually think that's a pretty cool idea to hear that they'll get this out pretty quick. Um, Okay, look at this. Up, we're kind of jumping around here, guys. Update 1.1 featuring hundreds of bug fixes. <laughs> uh, it's to be expected. Hundreds of bug fixes. There, I've seen several of these um, already. Uh, gameplay changes and improvements. So 1.1 is going to be huge. I think that's going to make a big difference. Uh, hopefully, these maps roll out soon and we can get a little bit more... Um, quality of life improvements. But uh, overall, guys, I think Relic is already aware of these things. They're being transparent about it. And I'm very optimistic for the future. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but I'm not disheartened by this game. I think, I think it's going to take longer than expected. I wish that we had that polish so we can kind of hit the ground running with this game and really get into it. Um, it's going to take a little bit of time, but... Um, you know, I'm excited. I'm going to personally for the channel moving forward. Uh, I'm trying to reshift my work and and uh, hopefully by the time I have a freer schedule to be able to invest more time into Co. Um, I, hopefully the game will be in a, in a great state by that time. And I could really invest um, more time than I am now because I would like to commit more to the game and to the channel over time. Uh, so hopefully I can kind of align those things uh, when when the game has reached a, a great state, an ideal state. But uh, guys, I just want to say I hope you enjoyed this video. That was a long rant. I, I was expecting this. My goal for this video was like a five minute video. But anyways, uh, I think I got everything out that I wanted to say. And I hope you guys are enjoying the game still. Um, I know you guys have been uh, probably playing since launch. Maybe some of you guys are on the fence of w buying the game. Maybe you're going to wait for a sale. Uh, and I don't blame you. Uh, I think a sale will come, you know, in the near future. Uh, but I just wanted to say, guys, if you enjoyed this video, uh, if you enjoyed the content, go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe, uh, leave a comment. It goes a long way in helping to support the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one.